Hi, I'm Chris Middleton. My God story happened uh, back in sept late September of 2009. Uh, I had started my business a few months prior and had a few months of cash reserves left to sustain us. And, you know, I, even though I had a deep relationship with the Lord on a daily basis, I was still trying to run everything my way. And I was doing the work necessary, but business was only a certain size. And uh, I finally was out of money. And I had read some things along the way. And I remembered that day in my devotional time where uh, our founder had written a book called Five Wisdoms for Entrepreneurial Survival. And he was mentored that the business wasn't his. He was just a steward of it, that it belonged to God. And so that morning in my devotional time, I didn't know how I was going to feed my kids next week, let alone Thanksgiving or take care of Christmas that year and pay the mortgage. And so I was on my knees with tears running down my face. And I just looked up to the heavens and said, God, you're the president and CEO. I'm just going to work hard. Please take care of us. And uh, from that day forward, our business just took off like a, a rocket ship and started growing like crazy. There was a particular time that um, we were completely out of cash. I had a bill that was coming due. And I can't remember. might have been a car insurance bill or something along the way. And it was about ready. I mean, I think it was within days of being due and I didn't have any money for it. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to pay this bill. And I went and opened up the mailbox that day and there was a like a refund check from another insurance policy or something that was like the almost the exact amount I needed to pay that bill. And I remember opening that check up and just, I don't know, like a flood of emotion came over me and I was like, you got this. Like, you know what my needs are and you're providing and taking care of me. I, I don't have to worry about these things. I just got to keep working hard and know that you're that you're taking care of me. What came out of that situation for me was a greater deepening of faith. Like I, I, my faith was starting to deepen, but that brought my faith to a whole nother level because, you know, God talks about having the, the faith of a mustard seed, the size of a mustard seed. I felt like, and I feel like my faith is approaching that now um, to where I just know that if whatever I need or whatever directions I'm, I want to head, he's going to take me there. It may not be in my timing or on my path, but I have faith that whatever goals I have set in life, God's going to get me there because he wants what's good for me. Uh, it just may be a different path, but my faith grew so much. I thought what, once that happened, I thought I, I don't have much to worry about. I just got to keep my nose to the grindstone and keep working hard. God's got this. I mean, he's taking care of everything that I need. And, and I was just blown away. My faith, I think my faith level really sprouted that day. What I want others to know is that when you turn over your life to God, when you commit to him to just be a faithful and hard worker and let him direct your paths, um, you know, my, he will take care of things. It's not always easy. And there's a lot of life lessons to learn along the way. But my, my, um, foundational verse over the course of building my business, there was a short period of time that I, everywhere I turned, it seemed like for two weeks on billboards or on the back of cars, I was seeing Proverbs 3, 5, 6. So finally one day I'm like, what's that verse? So I looked it up and it was trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understandings and always acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. And so that became my foundational verse. And I feel like when you trust in the Lord, when you have faith, when you exert just a little bit of faith that God's going to take care of things, He will. It's not always in our time. And sometimes we have to sit there and rationalize it and, and, and just be like, okay, I don't understand why it's taking so long, but I can't see the big picture that you can. There's other things that have to happen, but you're working everything according to your plan for good. And I know this is going to happen in my life. And I'm willing to wait and be patient for it to happen and learn what you want me to learn along the way. Thank you for joining us this week on your Everyday Life podcast. We pray that you were encouraged. Make sure to visit our website at youreverydaylife.org where you can subscribe and receive weekly devotional blogs from Scott. You can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Your Everyday Life. Be sure to give us a comment on how words of encouragement has inspired you and pass the word on to a friend who you know needs encouragement. 
Be sure to tune in again next week when once again we will look at everyday life topics and apply words of encouragement. Until then, stay encouraged by what you heard today and may you be greatly blessed.